So in order to answer this question, we're going to need to use that the average kinetic energy, which is given by this formula, is equal to 3 over 2 kBt. And so in order to calculate this, we need to know what the temperature is. Now in order to calculate T, we can use the ideal gas law. So use ideal gas law. So the ideal gas law tells us that PV is equal to nRT, so we can rearrange this to write T is equal to PV on nR. And we're actually given all of these values, so we just need to substitute them in. Now P, we're given as 8 atmospheres, so in this equation we need it in Pascal, so that's 8 times 1.01 .01 times 10 to the 5. That will convert this 8 from atmospheres to Pascals. And now we're given that the volume is 5 litres and we need the volume in metres cubed. So that's 5 times 10 to the minus 3. That's because there's a 1,000 litres in the metre cubed. And then we need to divide by N, which we were told is 2, and R is the gas constant, 8.314. So now we just need to calculate that on the calculator and we end up with a temperature of 242 0.96 kelvins. And now we can just substitute it back into this equation here. So we've got our average kinetic energy is equal to 3 over 2 times Kb, which is 1.381 times 10 to the minus 23 times 242.96. And solving that on the calculator, we get 5.03 times 10 to the minus 21 joules which is a very small number, but then this is talking about a single oxygen molecule which has a very low mass, so we would expect it to be very small.